Hello everybody, it's Kyra from Body Candy. Today's episode of The Tea, we'll be discussing the topic of what are angel fangs? But before we get into that, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Body Candy to see a lot more of these videos. So let's get into it, what are they? Here is a picture for simplicity. Really speaking, angel fangs are just paired vertical upper lip piercings and they have a cone-shaped end on the bottom to look like fangs, super cute. They are placed between your philtrum and the outer corner of your lips. One of the nice things about the setup of this piercing is that none of the jewellery is actually inside your mouth, so you don't have to worry about dental damage. So let's talk about the piercing and the healing process itself. Well, this piercing slash piercings is a nice combination of kind of angel and vampire vibes. It does come with some devilish issues as well. One is the swelling. So lip piercings do swell considerably. It does range from person to person. These are notorious for this as vertical lip piercings swell a lot more than horizontal lip piercings. All you can do in this situation is kind of just wait it out. You can minimise the swelling with anti-inflammatory medication but make sure to consult your doctor first to make sure you can actually have these medications. You may also find that your lips become quite dry and chapped during this process too but using any chapsticks or anything like that, lip balms is actually a massive no-no while these are healing. So the best way to cope with these dry chapped lips is to tackle the problem at the root cause, which is dehydration. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. Angel fangs cannot be pierced with the cone-shaped ball end on the bottom. They must be pierced with normal ball ends and using a pair of curved barbells. This is not actually a massive deal because these will be shortened after they have healed anyway to a more appropriate length. That is just to accommodate for any swelling and lip piercings. For the cone end to be added, you need to be healed entirely. You don't want to be knocking these with the excess length while they're healing. It takes roughly six to nine months for them to be fully healed. But it also is very important that you get these pierced by a very experienced piercer. Check your anatomy. They need to get the placement bang on. They can migrate very easily if they're not placed absolutely perfectly. Migration can also leave some very unsightly scarring. So avoid that at all costs. Just go and find a really good piercer. Aftercare wise, they will give you all the advice that you need. Twice a day with spray saline will be absolutely perfect. Then rinse these with running water and dry with a hairdryer on a cool setting. Or a clean paper towel using clean hands, but be very careful doing so. So I hope this information helped and you'll have to let us know if you have angel fangs, how you found it, or if you're planning to get them. Remember to like, comment and subscribe to Body Candy and you'll see so many more of these videos. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.